when I was in high school, I was first taken by, by the synthetic cubist paintings of Picasso, and then very quickly I moved on to uh, imitating de Kooning slash Pollock, and then fairly quickly I moved on to um, Rauschenberg and Cornell, most particularly, but was also attracted by everybody who was working in uh, so-called assemblage. A market was torn down on the street that I lived in in Venice, and it had all been covered with metal signs, and they were in all stages of aging, from pristine new to totally rusted. And I took those home and just uh, studied them as objects, and first exhibited them actually just as unaltered objects, and then started cutting them up and reassembling them. But now they're more like mosaics or something than traditional collage making where you can see the, the source of the material when you look at it. I've been looking at, of all people, Jackson Pollock very intensely in the last couple of weeks. And this particular picture is kind of like uh, making a Jackson Pollock one drip at a time. I remember Keenholz, who was a big hero of mine when I was very young, and telling me that he wasn't for a few years he wasn't so sure about my work, but then when he got to know me, my work was just like me and I was just like my work. And so now I had his unquestioned approval. Well, there's something about the manual, repetitive work of making art that's uh, very satisfying just on a kinesthetic motion kind of level and it's something that artists don't talk about being attached to because it's hard to describe and it's not particularly culturally valued but if you're a middle class kid and you're not going to do something you're not going to do something as terrifying as being a surgeon or something where you have to be able to do advanced math and people die if you fuck up being an artist a lot of what I like about it is just the labor the physical labor and, and activity and I think we all like that but it's a little hard to weigh what it is that it does for you. After artists insist that you can't really talk about art, then the fun starts of talking about it endlessly. So it's, it's, it's a kind of contradiction. My work comes out of my own work and its own history and the possibilities. I think that also anytime you look at anybody's work, and are terribly taken with it, moved by it. It's a kind of virus. You get a little bit of the hit of that virus, and it, it pushes you. It shows you a way to do it. It's both a humbling experience and an inspiring experience. I certainly know of many people who I think are certainly as good as I am who, who can't get anything to happen. And I know of people who are enormously more celebrated than I am, who I think are not nearly as good as I am, you know, and, and that's maybe not the issue at all. The issue is that no matter what happens, we can and will do as we please.